How we doing folks? I'm Smasher93 here and welcome back to Pokemon Soul Silver. Now you're wondering what I'm doing here in the Olivine Life Lighthouse after getting to see wood. Because it turns out we have to talk to Jasmine first. Its breathing is slight. This Pokemon always kept the sea lit at night. But it suddenly got sick. It's gasping for air. I understand that there is a wonderful pharmacy in Seamwood, but that's across the sea, and I can't leave Amphi unattended. Alright, thank you. I will get the medicine for you. And that... We're gonna go ahead and cut on back ahead to Seamwood, shall we? Alright, I am back. Now we go in here to get the medicine. What? You need medicine? Your Pokemon appear to be fine. It's something roaring you? The lighthouse Pokemon is in trouble? I got it. This ought to do the trick. And that, we get the secret potion. My secret potion is a tad too strong. I only offer it in an emergency. And with that, we're gonna go in here, heal up my Pokemon. Because cool lava. Oh, seems to be doing fine. But you still need a Pokemon Center visit. Anyways. Did some off screen shade training it time with these Pokemon. I'll show you guys later on. Because I may be able to get through two gym battles in this episode. Okay. But first, before I take on the Sea and Wood Gym, I want to go up here first. And here's to the west. That takes us to it. Will be to the Safari Zone. But right now, that's closed. And here's Suicune. Very jumpy, are we? Oh, hello. Yo, Ethan, wasn't that Suicune just now? I only caught a quick glimpse, but I thought I saw Suicune running on the waves. Suicune is beautiful and grand, and it races through towns and roads at simply awesome speeds. It's wonderful. I want to see Suicune up close. I've decided. I'll battle you as a trainer to earn Suicune's respect. Come on, Ethan. Let's battle now. Alright! We are facing the Mystery Man. And I think there's information on this guy's Pokemon. I'm gonna get that up right now while I'm taking him on. You see, some cool all has been through a lot of off-screen training. He is now level 32. Ah, oh, damn it. Ugh. And we'll just go while he's asleep. I'm going to go through the Oh crap. I'm gonna hate that move. There you go. Gave my little thing won't show up here. I'll just go through the history and get back the walkthrough. So we got Electrode. Alrighty. Let's go through a headbutt. Oh crap. That was close. Hmm, you know, I should maybe sh I should switch my Pokemon out. How about I send out my Quagsire? It'll be a good one. Okay, seeing wood gym. Here we go. Got yourself up. I'm gonna bomb you with some mud. Right after I get to hit with that. Okay, here we go. His previous Pokemon Drowsy was level 25, pure psychic type insomnia for the ability. His moves were disable, hypnosis, dream eater, and confusion. The Pokemon we're facing right now is Electrode, level 27. Pure Electric-type, static for the ability. 
The moves are Thunder, Screech, Sonic Boom, and Rollout. And Electrode somehow survived. But it won't survive a water gun. Adios. And we get some more experience here. And this last Pokemon is Haunter, level 25. Ghost Poison type, levitate for the ability. Mean Look, Hypnosis, Curse, and Lick. Ugh, don't lick me. Want some water. Come on, the water's fine. You know what? I have not the mouse out of there. I need to give Crobat some battling experience. Because he hasn't had some battle experience. Come on! Why? Just got Crobat out. And now I can't escape. What's next? A curse? Oh, there we go. He won't be using that on me anytime soon. Bye bye. Quagsire's level 22. I hate to admit it, but you win. Alright. You're amazing, Ethan. I'm starting to understand why Suicune was keeping an eye on you. I'm going to keep searching for Suicune. I have a feeling we'll see each other again. See you around. Let me just bicycle my way to the Pokemon Center. And heal up my Pokemon. And for this one, I'm going to show you the rest of my team. Kolava! Leveled up 32, now no Swift. Heracross is now level 23. And Flaffy, who is now Ampharos, is at level 30 and now no Thunder Punch. That's the updates I have. Done some good off-screen training. And Kolava's just four levels away from evolving. So heal up. Head to the Seanwood Gym. There's only four trainers in the gym. Before taking on the gym leader. Let me get Crobat to lead the way. Because even though I don't have a psychic type Pokemon, flying types will do just fine. Here we go. And there's the gym leader. But he's so into his training, he doesn't seem to notice you. Let's take on the four trainers. My Pokemon and I are bound together by friendship. Our bond will never be broken. You know in the original Gen 2 version, in the original Gold and Silver, you see him besides a boulder, and he throws the boulder to the side? Now, he's taking his training a little far this time, by being under a waterfall. He thinks he's strong enough, he needs to be more mental. Or well, more... More prepared mentally, that's what I meant to say. To be the best, you can't not you, not just physical, but you gotta have mental power too. Physically, mentally, gotta be one. I think that's what I meant. Give yourself a wing attack, take out the Machop, and down he goes. You know, there's a Pokemon I forgot to mention that in the other routes. In Route 41, there's some new Pokemon. By surfing in Heart Gold only, you will encounter Mantine. Mantine! Pretty good special wall here. And kind of a good water type Pokemon to have. Let's see. Another one is Chinchow. Chinchow, as a Pokemon, has a very good typing. Like, even face another water type Pokemon user, and you got an electric type. And you got some good electric type attacks for, in its d disposal, too. 
And what was the other Pokemon? I forget what the other one was. Ooh, Crobat's leveled up. I might get rid of Astonish. And I will teach it Poison Fang. I'm gonna have to relook at this. Hang on, there was one more Pokemon. Do 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 do. Oh yeah, through fishing. That was what Chinchow had. And another through fishing you'll find is Shelter. Shelter is a pretty good wall. And it's got some good defensive capabilities. Although there are some better water type Pokemon out there. Anyways, back to this. I don't have the new Pokemon up here for the episode. So I'm just gonna do this because I'm in the cities for this episode. Time for a wing attack. Call it a day. Oh, Hitmonchan survived. And I got ice punched! This is bad. But don't worry. I got a bite for ya. What's that gonna do? That's not gonna do jack shit to me. Although bite is good enough. Okay. Alright. Three down, one to go. Okay, I'm gonna need to give my grab me a super potion. About fifty. Now I got one more fight. I'll fight him right now. Let's go. I think after this I'll have time to be able to do another gym. Let's see, you got yourself a Mankey. Yeah, Mankey's a Pokemon you'll find in Route 42 if you're playing Heart Gold, as you see up there. But that's heart gold only. But if you're playing that game, have yourself a pretty good fighting type. And Crobat is rocking it. And then there's this other evolution, Primeape, who's a very good fighting type Pokemon here. And Wing Attack may not take it out. Ooh, it takes it out. Wow, Crobat, you're rocking it right now. Level 28. And it is getting stronger as it's battling the trainers here. Use your wing attack. That was super effective. And now we are ready to take on the gym leader. I got shattered. Alright. There's a large winch. Will you turn it? Alright. Oh, Chuck's gonna be pissed. Alrighty. And now we talk to him. Mm, that pounding waterfall right onto my head. Arrgh! Why did you stop the waterfall from pouring on me? You just spoil my training. I have to warn you that I am a strong trainer, training every day under this waterfall. What? It has nothing to do with Pokemon. That's true. Come on, we shall do battle. Yeah, we shall do battle. Alright, we are facing the gym leader Chuck here. And he carries two Pokemon like most of the other trainers. If his first of his two is Primate, level 29, pure fighting type, vital spirit for the ability. Rock Slide, Double Team, Focus Punch, and Leer. Alrighty. Oh, you're double teaming, huh? 
Let's just hope I can hit it with the net in my next attack. Oh, we're going to use a Hyper Potion. I don't know if you would have wasted it on the Prime Ape. Okay, one more attack. There we go. Your double team is meaningless. All right. His other Pokemon is Polyrath. Level 31, water fighting type, water absorbed for the ability. We haven't lost yet. Anyways, Citrus Berry for the held item. Surf, Hypnosis, Body Slam, and Focus Punch. And this one is gonna be... Gonna give me some troubles here. But I do have my Ampharos for backup in case Crobat Dote goes down. Ooh, good work. Yeah, you use your Citrus Berry. Because if I survive this next Surf... Uh-oh. Not good. No, not yet. Okay, you are asleep right now. And I'm being and you're gonna get the surf going. Come on, wake up. And Crobat's gonna be down for the count. Yep. But I do have a backup plan. And that is my evolved Ampharos. And Ampharos. Okay, and Ampharos is better in special attack. Oh, but it's got a good physical attack, too. So how about Thunder... Right after I get body slammed. Okay, I'll Thunder Punch you into oblivion. Oh, come on! I hope you get paralyzed, too. Okay, you didn't get paralyzed. But you're getting hit in the crotch with a Thunder Punch. Yeah, KO, buddy. I'll be taking that Storm Badge. Ooh, Ampharos almost leveled up. We lost. That you did. Hmm. I lost? How about that? Alright, you're worthy of the storm badge. That I am. The storm badge lets your Pokemon fly to any city or town you've already been to. Here, take this too. TM01! That is Focus Punch. This is a move I wouldn't really recommend. It doesn't land the f if the foe you're attacking hits you first, but it's very powerful if it manages to hit. If you're in a dull battle and you and you want to use Focus Punch, get another Pokemon that knows Follow Me. If that's Cian Wood C Gym Baz, then you should take this HM. HMO2, that is Fly! Teach Fly to your Pokemon. You will be able to fly instantly to anywhere you have visited. Okay. I am going to use it. And Crobat, get ready to learn Fly. And Fly has 90 health. Not 90, what am I saying? 90, 90 power. Like, get rid of Astonish. And I'm gonna teach it Fly. Alright. I'm gonna heal up first before I fly over to the lighthouse. Not now, Huey! Yada yada yada. Gonna heal up. Head to the. I think we'll have time! After I get the secret potion up to the top of the lighthouse, we're gonna definitely take on the next gym. And I'm gonna go ahead and put Heracross to the top of the team. Or put Koalava up. Because we all know what's coming up next. Head to Olivine. Oh, we can fly to the National Park. Sweet. Let's go ahead and fly there. Take us to Olivine, Crobat! And now, first, we go ahead and get this medicine over to the lighthouse. 
I already took care of all the trainers off screen. Climbed up there because I needed to talk to Jasmine first to... Uh, because we... Before we get the secret potion. But now we got the secret potion. Alright. Better hurry up. Okay. Will that medicine cure Amphi? Ethan handed the secret potion to Jasmine. Um, please don't be offended. Amphi will not take anything from anyone but me. Amphi, how are you feeling? All better. All right. Oh, I'm so relieved. This is just so wonderful. Thank you very, very much. I will return to the gym. Um, are you sure you want to take that way? Because you could be, you could be stuck there. You should have taken the elevator. Much quicker. Okay, here we go. You arrived at the first floor. Here we go. Now we... Oh, Balboa is calling us. Oh, hi, Ethan. This is Warden ba Balboa. Sorry to have kept you waiting. We finally opened the Safari Zone. Do you know where it is? You know the gate inside the cavern in Seawood City? If you go through there and walk for a short while, you should soon see the Safari Zone. We're a little out of the way, but please come visit. No, I might do that. But first thing is first, we take on the gym. There are two Pokemon, two trainers here. I knew you'd come here. Thank you for helping the gym leader, but battle is a separate matter. Go for it. Okay, they don't battle. I know how capable you are from the lighthouse. It's time you showed that side of yourself to Jasmine. Good luck. Oh, they are not battling! Thank you for your help at the lighthouse. But this is different. Please allow me to introduce myself. I am Jasmine, a gym leader. I use the Clang Steel Type. Do you know about the Steel Type? They are very hard, cold, sharp, and really strong. Um, I'm not lying. Are you sure about that? They do have some weaknesses. Like fire and fighting and even ground types. Okay, first up is the first of her two Magnemites. Both of them are the same Magnemites. They will both be level 30. Electric Steel type, Magnet Pull for the ability, and they will both have Thunder Wave, Supersonic, Thunder Bolt, and Sonic Boom. And Lava is ready to go. Oh, crap! Talk about paralysis. And we use the Hyper Potion, of course. Just gotta keep burning you. But I have something in the bag here that'll... Paralyze Heal. Here we go. Ah, much better. Now I'm hoping this doesn't paralyze me again. Don't paralyze me. Thank you. And that's one down, two to go. Alright. Ooh! She's taking out the big guns here. She's bringing out Steelix. Level 35. Steel ground type. Sturdy for the ability. Citrus berry for the held item. Screech. Sandstorm. Iron tail. And rock throw. Now this thing is less on special defense. So I'm gonna use an ember. Ooh, please burn, please burn. Ah, damn it! But that did some good damage. So I hope he doesn't throw a rock at me. And he does just that. Block! That's okay, it's okay. I'm not worried. Okay, maybe I am a little worried. But I got a revive on me. 
Don't worry, Koalava, you're not out of the woods yet. Not out of the woods, but not out of this battle. Oh, oh that took out in one hit. But I got Koalava back. And another Ember should pretty much do this. Oh, wait, that was a... Damn it! Please survive that, oh boy, Koalava! This Ember should do it. There we go. KO! And a level up for Koalava, too! And now she sends out her other Magnemite. Properly tempered steel won't be made rusty by things like this. Uh, fire melts steel! In case you don't know. But here goes another... Let's use a super potion. And we're gonna be using a thunderbolt, eh? Okay. Okay, that... Ugh. You know what? You know what? I don't care. I got Quagsire here. Ah, you can't use your electric attacks anymore, so you're going for the sonic boom. And I, did you forget to mention, ground types are- Oh! How you like me now? Quagsire, you rock! Well done. Yes. You are better- you are a better trainer than me in both skill and kindness. In accordance with league rules, I confer upon you this badge. And that is the mineral badge. With this badge, all Pokémon include trade Pokémon up to level 70 will obey. You without question. Um, please take this too. TM23! I think that's... Yeah, it's Iron Tail! Your Pokémon will hit the target with the Tar Tail, occasionally lowering the target's defense. Alright, with all that said and done, I think it's time to end the episode here. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like to have Pokemon recommendations for me, let me know in the comment section below. Till then, I'm Adam Smasher93, and I will see you in the next episode where we will make our way towards Mahogany Town. Later!